Look around you. Virtually every aspect of our daily lives, from the technology we keep in our pockets to the buildings we work and live in, uses resources extracted from the Earth. Even the computer you're using now was effectively dug out from the Earth in the form of so-called mined ores. Silica for the glass, copper for the wiring, lithium for the battery, and so on. The companies responsible for the extraction and processing of these valuable mined resources make up the mining industry. And like many industries, mining involves a complex matching game between supply and demand. Demand, determined by other industries and consumer habits, is global and broad. Supply, determined by the reserves we have found and accessed, is often localized, remote, and sometimes even scarce. Take iron ore. Its demand is global. Nearly all industries make use of iron ore derivatives like steel. Its supply, however, is much more concentrated. Today, more than half of the world's iron ore supply comes from two countries, Australia and Brazil. Or consider cobalt. It's one of the most in-demand metals in recent years. It's a critical input to batteries, like those needed for electric vehicles. Its supply is indeed scarce and concentrated. 70% of cobalt comes solely from the Democratic Republic of Congo. In the mining industry, the question of supply and demand is often approached in one of two ways. One way is via a demand-driven perspective, analyzing the market forces, consumption habits, and end product needs, and then finding ways to extract and process the resources to meet this demand. This approach can be thought of as a market-to-mine orientation. The other way is via a supply-driven or mine-to-market orientation, first identifying which resources can be feasibly extracted and processed, and then finding suitable end markets. Which perspective a company adapts will impact its product breadth, the number of ores it mines, and its product depth, the degree of processing and vertical integration it pursues within a given product type. For reasons we will discuss in the next chapter, a demand-driven, market-to-mine perspective will typically lead to more product breadth, pursuing whichever products are most in demand over time. A supply-driven, mine-to-market approach will typically lead to more depth, sustained emphasis on bringing a handful of products to market as efficiently and consistently as possible. This primer will cover the ins and outs of the mining industry, starting with a deeper understanding of the demand or market side, what products are consumed, and the supply or mine side, where and how they are mined. We will also cover the value chain, major players in the market, economics, and key trends.